few words about the decision today. Uh, as you can appreciate, um, from the very beginning, uh, we have uh, stated that there was nothing to even begin uh, the case for the prosecution. And I think you remember that because of that, we have made an application to strike out the charges because we thought that the charges will not be able to stand uh, what the prosecution themselves have presented as their initial facts. But I think the learned judge wanted to be surer than sure, so I think he proceeded with the case in order to determine at the end of the prosecution uh, case, and that was today, to decide whether there is a, a case or not. And he has decided that the prosecution has not proven uh, many of the ingredients that they ought to, to prove, but they have not uh, proven at all. So as a result of which, uh, you find that um, <coughs> he made a finding on Arul Kanda to be a credible person, a person who has uh, given evidence without any hesitation, uh, without uh, any uh, evidence of um, uh, minimizing his role, and maximizing Datuk Sri Najib's role. He wasn't of that character and therefore Arul Kanda being the first uh, accused was given the certificate. Uh, that was, you will notice, was an indication of what would be the consequence of the decision on uh, Datuk Sri Najib. And true enough, on Datuk Sri Najib, he found a very critical, very critical finding. This one you must take note he found that there is no element of gratification. That means there was absolutely no element of corruption in Datuk Sri Najib's role in these charges, uh, which we call the auditing charges. All right? And I must also remind you, and I think I owe a duty to the former Auditor General, who I have always thought throughout my cross-examination of uh, that gentleman, uh, I thought he was, he was a pride uh, to Malaysia because he was a person of credible uh, 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 means and very credible character uh, to have held that position. And he didn't buckle under pressure, be it in the uh, parliamentary uh, inquiry. You remember he had an inquiry, he gave evidence there and he stood fast throughout and he gave the similar evidence in court in spite of this being such a politically charged case. Sir, so I think if you have, if you have uh, characters like that in the public service, this country has got hope.